What's up guys, JTM Off-Road here. Today's video, we're getting the axles ready for the Avalanche build and testing out some Benchmark Abrasives product. Alrighty guys, so this is gonna be the first video. We're gonna start um, getting ready for the Avalanche build. We have our 410 axles sitting here off of the parts truck and we're going with these. I have 373s in my truck right now. We want to go to 410s once we get the bigger tires on it. I still want to tow, so I feel like the 410s, these are free. Um, rather than paying the money to re-gear right now, might as well just use these for free. You know, take some time to clean this axle up. You know, that one's aluminum, so I just want to get it cleaned up. I don't I don't feel like painting it. But this one we want to at least get cleaned up and, and throw some paint on before we get it in. It's out, might as well take care of it. Also want to change the fluid in both of these. So we got some more, picked out some fluid here. Got some uh, full synthetic uh, for the rear since it does have the limited slip in it. And then just some normal high performance ADW90 for the front. Um, that's what the book says to use. So that's what I'm running with. Sure, you guys know better than I do. I'm just running with this. If you guys have some better ideas, um, whatever you use, go ahead and drop down in the comments. Let me know what you use. So the other part of this video, I got some flap discs from Benchmark Abrasives. They have this running promo. Um, I forget exactly what it is. If it's like free mix or something like that, it says on their website, um, all over Instagram and everything. They really advertise it, but you get a pack of 10 flap discs, variety mix, different grits. Um, you get a pack of 10 for free, all you have to do is pay $10 shipping. 10 flap discs for 10 bucks, that's a pretty good deal. Um, I'm not being endorsed by them or anything, I'm just, you know, a user. I buy, you know, the, the flap discs at Harbor Freight, they're like four bucks a piece. So I go through flap discs a lot, just, you know, I'm not, I'm not a crazy fabricator or anything. I'm just do stuff on the weekends for fun. Um, you know, half the stuff I get is used and I have to grind it down and get it down to bare metal before I paint it and stuff. So I really like flap discs. I, I use them a lot and I hate paying for them. I hate going to the store, buying them. Um, I'm always down on them and it takes time out of my day. So I'm curious to see how these work. If, if they hold up, then might be something that I just go ahead and you know buy the 10 pack every now and then and just keep the stuff on hand or or whatever I don't know but we're gonna go ahead and try them out they come packaged um, you know in a pack of 10 like this and they you know send you a sticker and some business card and, and stuff so um, you know very small packaging so the discs right off the bat seem pretty nice they uh, seem like super thick so hopefully that means they're going to last long. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm very anxious to try these out. So um, I don't want to take too much time talking about that. So right off the bat, I, I kind of want to just change the fluid on these. I'm going to crack the front of that off, let it all drain out, and get the fluid changed on that. And then start working on grinding everything down, get it all clean. And um, this one actually doesn't seem like it has... Uh, I've never really changed the fluid on uh, one of these style diffs, but doesn't look like you have to um, actually uh, take a cover off or anything. Looks like there's just a, uh, a drain at the bottom and a fill. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, but this one, we're just going to go ahead and clean it up. I'm not going to use the flap discs with this. I'm just going to hit with a wire wheel, try to clean it up. Um, you know, eventually I'll go ahead and get some of this grime and stuff off so it's, it's nice and clean. But this one, this is gonna be the one that I'm gonna hit it most with the flap discs and everything. You know, hit this with the needle scale or maybe try to get some of this crud broken loose and then, then hit it with the flap disc after. Also, I don't know how much I really wanna take this down to yet, I haven't decided, but I do wanna at least take the sway bar off and try to clean this up. But uh, yeah, so we're just, we're, just gonna, we're just gonna go to it and try to get this thing done.
All right, so this was the big reason I wanted to take the carrier off. That number, the last four digits say 1041. So I believe that's 41 teeth ring gear, 10 teeth pinion, leaving it as a 410 axle ratio. So that's exactly what we need for this build. I just wanted to make sure that the code that was in the glove compartment was actually right. So looks like it is, so we can keep going with this. I wanted to make sure the axle ratio was actually correct before I started cleaning this axle up, only to find out this is an incorrect axle. But this is exactly what we need. We can keep going. We're going to have to get some more brake clean just to make sure everything is like perfectly clean before I you know, keep going. I already went through two cans, still got to go a little more, little more to, to clean everything out. So this axle does have the limited slip. I don't know much about it, so you know I don't really feel like doing a rebuild or anything. Nothing looks like crazy auto whack to me. I mean, I've never seen one before, so I don't know what I'm looking for. But, I mean, nothing looks terrible in there. So, I just want to clean it up more. Some rust fell in, so I got to make sure everything's really clean before I put it all back together. So, I'll have to take some time doing that. As for the magnet here, I don't know if the diff fluid's ever been changed on this. I can't say much because I've never done it on mine. I've always done it on a Jeep. There's a good bit of metal here. So, we'll go ahead and clean this all up and uh, you know, get it all looking good and then we can put it all back together and get some fluid in it. It's dying down a little bit, but it's hailing. There's hail outside. Little, little, wow, they're actually pretty decent. Man, oh, my poor Jeep, my poor truck. Oh, just listen to it. Oh, crap. That sucks. That's not cool at all. <sighs> Look at that. That sucks. Alright, so right now I got the diff cover pretty cleaned up on the inside. Just hit some hit with a wire wheel. Um, now, thank goodness for needle scalers. I was using a gasket scraper and just kind of like chipping at it. And I'm like, what am I doing this for? I have a needle scaler. So just went ahead and went the whole way around it. I was, you know, you got to be careful with those. If you use too, th if you're using it on too thin of sheet metal, then it's just going to poke right through. But, you know, you go out of the side. Um, it was pretty good. There's, there's no, there's no bumps on the inside or anything. So it, it did pretty well. So you got all the heavy, loose crap off of here. We'll have to do the same thing to the uh, to the axle here soon. Went ahead and threw a 60 grit on here. Um, no particular reason. I figure it's not like super heavy rust. Not like really thin. We'll just go ahead and try that and see how that works. So we'll just kind of you know go across the outside of this and then probably use the wire wheel a little more on here just to get that um, cleaned down and then it should be all ready. And we can go ahead and clean the surface of that a little more and clean the inside out real good, gasket maker it up, and then fill the diff up, and then keep going. So this is, you know, first first go around with the uh, flap disc, and it didn't take me very long, just a few minutes to, to grind this all down. I was able to get in here a little bit. Can't really get that lip, um, but it did really well. It took a lot of rust off really quick. You can see it really didn't wear down at all. So, I mean, I've only used the, the Harbor Freight ones and they seem to go pretty quick. This, it's so beefy, it like, just even, even really like, didn't even really like touch it, it seems. So, um, you know, like I said, this is only, this is only the, the first thing I've used this on. So, um, we'll keep going, see what happens. I'm going to switch over to the wire wheel, try to get the, a lot of this off. 
there's a lot of pitting you can tell <laughs> it's been a pretty rusty cover should have just got a new one there's probably like no metal left to this anyway but we're just going to go ahead and hit this with the uh the wire wheel try to get the pitting out and then that's probably as far as we're going to go with this all right we get the inside and outside of the diff cover all clean and you can tell there's a lot of pitting on this one um but oh well didn't pay anything for it so can't complain too much also have the diff all cleaned out that was all black before now it's all cleaned up and shiny now we just have to put the gasket maker on go ahead and put the cover on and get going on the rest of this Silly me, had the impact going the wrong direction, tightened it up, and when I went to loosen it, just broke the bolt. But thankfully, the bolt is sticking out far enough that I should be able to weld a knot onto that and take it out. So hopefully it won't be a big deal. As for the rest of the axle, um, I still have to put one piece back up there for the brake lines, but it's all pretty much ready to go um, to start working on it. So I took the track bar off, and I think that's probably about all I'm going to take off. I, don't, I think I'm just going to leave the uh, brake line pieces on. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit it with the needle scaler and then probably go back over with the flap discs and see how they do. Well, I think my coupler was telling me it was a good time to stop in video because it just blew apart. So, gonna have to change that out. <laughs> Little startling, just uh, line just shot out of my hand. So, yeah, just completely apart. Never had that happen. So, anyway, this is coming along. It is a very long process. Needle scaling is very satisfying. It just takes forever. But it's really coming together. Um, it may not look like it, but there's so much just scale. Rusty scale and dried crap that's just off it now. I've had to sweep a bunch of times. Um, I just have a couple more areas to hit with the needle scaler and then I'm going to go ahead and hit with wire wheel, flap disc, you know, a bunch of different stuff to try to get to be a little more clean. And then we'll go ahead and clean it up and uh, go ahead and paint. Well, I guess we have to extract that bolt, so I'll have to weld a nut still on that. But yeah, so already so axle is all needle scaled down. Looks awesome to me. <laughs> So next thing I'm gonna do is get this bolt out, which shouldn't be too bad as I jinx myself. I found a nut that is perfect size for it. So thankfully there's a lot there and it's above, it's not flush or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and burn that in and pull it out.
an hour later and a bunch of nuts finally got it finally got it out so uh, I need to remember this for the future but I just have to keep building and building and building and building and building and so I can get a nut completely over it and then weld because I built it up a little bit and then put this on and then went and it would just just wouldn't grab so this was the one that finally got it time to flap disc and wire wheel Well, this is about as much as I got with the flat discs. So, got a pretty decent amount. There's a lot of odd spots, but the flat spots I was able to get. So, got a lot of it. Um, I'm gonna go back over with the wire wheel now and then flip it over and do the same thing on that side and try to get this thing painted tonight. As for the flap disc, I'm still using that same 60 grit from before. Still a lot of beef left to it, so. Holding up pretty good. I'm liking them. Alrighty guys, here she is. Um, not perfect, but definitely a big improvement than what we had before. So there are some areas I couldn't get to, but I think overall it, it's a lot better. Um, actually, I think it actually looks better on camera than it does in person. But regardless, it's a million times better than what we had. So got this all ground down. Um, <laughs> I'm really rushing to try to get this done and get this painted tonight. So it's all wiped down. Um, we got everything. We got everything off of it. We got the sway bar in the back done, and there's a couple uh, brackets and stuff too that we got. So this is all done. That's all ready to go. As for the flap disc, it did really well. There's still a lot left to it. Still pretty beefy. So I think, in short, I'm gonna keep getting these and just make sure that I have them on hand, especially if we keep doing this like $10 mix pack. It's a pretty good deal. So much better than buying individual ones at Harbor Freight. So I like those, I'll definitely get more. I probably could have switched to like the 40 grit, um, but just for this video, I wanted to try to show how long this lasted. And I, I was pretty pleased. So axles are ready to go. We're gonna start throwing some paint on it. Um, <laughs> I wish I had a better way to turn the axle to get, um, you know, in spots where I can't really hit. So I'm gonna do the best I can with this and then once it's on the truck, I'll actually do the touch up stuff and it'll, it'll be all done once it's on the truck. So let's get painting. Alrighty, it's all primered. It has been 24 hours, so that's the time it needed to take for it to dry. So we're gonna go ahead and use the high gloss top coat for the final thing. So we'll go ahead and do that, shove the axle to the side and bring the truck in. We'll be ready to do the lift, which I'm gonna start tomorrow, which will be the next video. So, uh, truck bar, that's up there too, or sway bar, I mean, sorry. Go ahead and paint that. As for the front diff, I just kind of sprayed it off and cleaned it a little bit. I'm not too worried about it. It's going to be up hidden underneath skid plates and stuff, so didn't really spend too much time with that. I'm going to change the fluids later on. I won't do that in this video. Trying to get everything as far as I can tonight done and uh, get further with this later on. So it's about as much as I'm going to get done tonight. So we're going to just get the rest of the paint on this. And we'll be uh, wrapped up. done. Look how good she looks. I'm actually pretty pleased. It's uh, it's still drying right now, but it's about that glossy. It's gonna be the nicest looking thing on my truck. <laughs> uh, makes me really want to do the rest of the truck now. But 
probably won't be able to do that right away. Probably gonna have to do that in like sections at a time. Maybe, unless I get a really nice long break. I kind of took a little bit of, little bit of time to do this. It's, I guess been three days now and it's just taken too long to get this done. But, finally done, looks good. Track bar, sway bar is done. A couple brackets are done. Turned out good. So, e-brake, uh, the e-brake and the cables, those are gonna get pulled out. So when I put this axle in my truck, I'm just gonna hook the e-brake up to this axle and the e-brake is newer on my truck. I just replaced it. So I'm gonna pull the stuff off of that axle, put it on this one. That way I've got a newer set. So pardon, pardon my face with the, uh, the lines and everything from the respirator, but respirator sure does help uh, in the garage. I have a fan going, just blowing out. I don't have any of the other windows open, just the one blowing out right now. Just because it's really, it's raining and I don't want to get too much humidity in here, but I don't know, probably can't, probably can't stop it anyway. But anyway, axle's done. We're finally done with that. Uh, this is the weekend I'm getting the, the avalanche lift done and wanted this to be ready for it. And it's ready. So actually it's, it's about 9.30 at night right now. Tomorrow I'm starting the lift. So I'll, I'm gonna work on the front first and then go to the rear. So it's probably gonna take me a little while to get to the rear anyway. So that'll give us you know, plenty of time to really, really dry, even though this is a fast drying paint and shouldn't, shouldn't be too bad. It's like 24 hours it says for, for full dry, um, but dry to touch in an hour or two. So I wanna let it dry as long as I can before I start moving it because as soon as I do, it's gonna start scratching and it's gonna be terrible. Alrighty guys, if this is the first time in the channel, please be sure to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure to keep an eye out for all the other Avalanche build videos that are going to be coming. I think that's about it for this video guys. We'll see you in the next one.